welcome back to a new video. It's gonna be a good old fashioned calf feeding video today. So let's get to work. So this little lady was born yesterday and all of our calves get tube fed four liters of colostrum as soon as we can get it into them. So after that, we'll give them a two liter feeding twice a day. So we're gonna see if she's hungry enough to drink the whole bottle. Typically, when they have had their four liters of colostrum, they're kind of full for a day or two, so they might not drink the full two liters, but as long as we start getting them on it, as soon as the next feeding comes around, they're typically pretty hungry about one or two feedings after, so. She's looking curious now that she hears me talking, so we're gonna see how hungry she is. So she drank about a liter before she started sticking her tongue out the side of her mouth, so that usually means they don't wanna drink anymore, so she'll most definitely want to drink the full amount tomorrow morning. It's just a matter of getting them used to it. She looks ready for a bottle. So these are our three fat bottle calves in this room. These two babies were born yesterday morning. They're a set of twins. It's a heifer and that's a bull calf. And then this little lady was born yesterday afternoon. Right, cutie? Some help there, bud. There you go. So we have our own kind of little system set up in place for all of the skinny bottles versus ones that are pale trained. If they're on a skinny bottle, so a bottle in the bottle holder then this little handle won't be over the pail. But then you'll see in this next calf, this handle has been put over these two pails so that we know that this calf is pail trained. So if it's sitting like that, it's on a bottle. And if it's sitting like this, then they know how to drink from the pail. This whole room is pretty much our youngest room right now, so they're on two liters of milk twice a day, so four liters per day. And after about 10 days, we'll up them to two and a half liters, and then another 10 days, they'll be up to three liters, all the way until they get three and a half liters per feeding, which is seven liters per day. And that's where we cap them at.
So there are a couple of frequently asked questions that I figured I would address in this video. And some of those questions are, do you feed actual milk to your calves? Yes, we do. We milk the cows and we will partition some of the milk aside so that we can pasteurize it and feed it to the calves. So they basically get mama's milk still 100%. We just pasteurize it before we feed it to them. Another one would be, why are your calves in solitary confinement? The answer is, they're not. They're not in solitary confinement. That would be truly putting them in a padded room by themselves where there is no communication or sight of another calf. These calves are across from each other, as you can see. They can hear each other, they can smell each other, they see each other. So they're not in solitary confinement. They're just kept in separate pens so that they can't suck on each other because that is a very prevalent problem we've had throughout the years as dairy farmers raising these calves. They will kill each other in our experience. I know there are dairy farms that do it very well in group housing, but for us, this is what works to raise very big, healthy, strong calves. So this is what we're gonna be doing. And none of these calves are depressed. They're all highly alert. They can, you can see that they're happy, they're excited. They're all very interested in whoever is walking by their pen, like they're not sad. These are very happy, healthy animals. And it's because we house them separately that they're like that. Right, buddy? This separate housing also allows us to monitor each calf individually. My mom, my sister, and I are the three sole calf feeders on this dairy farm, and we're very vigilant about any changes in character so that we can make adjustments accordingly. This way, we are able to adjust amounts of milk if they're feeling a little bit sick. Just, it makes a lot of sense for us to be able to do calf by calf analysis by keeping them housed this way. And we love it because it really does truly work for us. So we have one twin heifer in here and she's still getting some water, warm water. Cause she was really sick. We thought she was gonna die. And my sister actually put a lot of time and effort into tubing this little lady. I think it was like three or four days in a row. And she saved this little calf because she just wouldn't give up on her. So good job Miriam on this little calf and that's her twin sister so those two twins are both still here because of my sister working on there <laughs> yes. playing with the water huh you're not supposed to play with your food no yeah you don't care okay <laughs> so i think most dairy farmers would agree with me in saying that Having the best possible care for your calves is the sure way to raise happy, healthy milking cows. <laughs> Which is why we as dairy farmers have opted for such a large facility that really does a great big focus on taking care of calves individually until they are old enough to be able to withstand being in a big group pen. The reason why we keep them in single pens like this is because calves have absolutely zero immunity when they are born. There is no antibodies within their systems to help them fend off any bad bacteria, which is why it's so important that we do raise them this way. <laughs> Safira, hey, no bunting, come on. She's uh, quite the frisky little gal. <laughs> 
So I am hoping that you guys enjoyed a little bit of the updated calf feeding video. This is what happens every day, twice a day, whether it's by me or my mom or my sister. <laughs> We all work very hard to look after these calves to make sure that they become really big, strong milking cows. This is honestly one of my favorite jobs on the farm, as you can probably tell, <laughs> because these little babies are so stinking cute. Careful now. No, no, no. <laughs> so they're a lot of fun and sometimes quite naughty. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed that video. <laughs> and if you did, please like and subscribe and share it with a friend. And I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, Safina, come on. You naughty. You are so naughty. enjoyed the video let me know which calf was your favorite out of that montage that just played <laughs> you can see which calf is which by the numbers on their tags see you in the next one